Good afternoon, friends. I am here on the Stampin' for Fun Facebook page. I'm looking forward to connecting with anybody who's able to join in live. I like to hop on live on my Facebook page around 2 p.m. Eastern every Tuesday. I call it my Tuesday at 2 uh, time, and that's where I just get to share stamping and share what's going on in the craft cave, all the upcoming activities in my business, upcoming classes, and of course, share some stamping with you. Hi, Emily. Okay, great. We have some friends joining in. I love to talk with you guys live. And of course, if you're watching the replay, go ahead and comment as well. Um, because it's just a way that we can connect. Even more important during these times that we can connect. Hello, Betty. Hi, Kathy. Okay, great. Welcome, welcome. So my name is Genevieve Co, and I have been sharing stamping for over 13 years now. This fall will be 14 years, and I love what I do. I get to stamp, I get to play with stamps, I get to make pretty things, I get to share them with you, and uh, Stampin' Up! pays me to do that. It's like a miracle. So um, I'm so grateful to be able to share with you each week. I have um, these Facebook Live sessions every week on Tuesday, but as well, I have lots of other things going on in my business. So usually I do try to, I was checking to see if I had all my papers here. Usually I do try to share what other great things are going on in the business as well so that you can dive in, participate, enjoy, get some happy stamping um, fun, uh, during whatever works for you. It's actually been working out really well with my classes because they're all virtual now. So usually there's a recording. So even if you can't join in live at the actual time when I'm doing the class, uh, within a week of the class, I try to send out a recording so that you can always participate on your own time as well. Hello, everyone. Hi, Lolita. Hi, Sharon. Okay, so many things. How are my glasses going? Thank you for asking, Kathy. You see, I'm still wearing my glasses. And in fact, this morning after my shower, I was like, oh, maybe I should put on my contacts and put on my makeup because I knew I'd be visiting with you guys today. And I thought, I'll do that later. I'll do it after lunch and I'll go do it. But once I get down here and I start working on all the different things, um, I, I just didn't have time to go up and change to my contacts. I thought, okay, maybe I should at least put on lipstick. So nothing today. I am coming to you au naturel. I hope that's okay. I don't think it'll change what I share in terms of the stamping one bit. And it's really all about the stamping. So um, we won't worry <laughs> about that. But thank you for asking. I'm still really enjoying my glasses. The fact that I can like work down here, work on my computer. I even did some stamping today. I didn't have to like do the you know, haul it up over my head and like squint and look at everything. So I think the bifocal thing is working out well. And now I guess with the new technology, you can't like see the line. So I think it's okay. And um, so it just gives me options, you know, do I want to wear contacts today? Do I want to give my eyes extra oxygen? I'll just wear glasses. So uh, <laughs> thanks for asking, Kathy. Um, Oh, maybe I shouldn't say, but anyway, Kathy, since I see that you're on, I keep meaning to text you. Your order is here. It's ready for pickup. <laughs> and I keep like, I have it put aside for you. And just sometimes the day gets so busy. I'm writing my blog posts or following up on different things. So anyway, I hope you don't mind, Kathy. Just thought I'd give you that little personal message. Okay. How's everyone doing? Hi, Serena. So what I'm going to do is, um, as usual, share some announcements and then share some stamping. This is the last week, guys. We are in the last week of April. So this is the last chance to take advantage of this month's, um, all my little pieces of papers of announcements I wanna tell you. Uh, last chance to take advantage of this month's Global Creative Tutorial Bundle. So what that bundle is, is that it's a bundle of 12 tutorials from demonstrators all around the world. I'm so honored to have been asked to be a part of that group. We each make a card around the theme um, for the month. So April is the Hey Chick Bundle. So if you uh, like that bundle, own that bundle, wish you could own that bundle, anything like that, you can get 12 different tutorials using those products. The tutorials are in written format 
and video format. So you've got both options there. And uh, <laughs> and I'm reading the comments and it makes me giggle. Kathy says she can see lots of empty boxes. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Those of you that are new, I'll tell you now, I'm not one of those uh, demonstrators or crafters that you see on the internet that have like a pristine crafting area. Like I sort of suspect that it's just for show. How could they really be crafting with their stuff if it's always so neat and tidy in there? Anyway, um, yes, yeah, so I've got lots of boxes unpacked here and plus we're kind of saving boxes because my son is moving out this weekend. Um, so we don't know how many boxes he'll need to pack. So sorry, yes, there's lots of boxes. There's lots of things piled around here. Uh, so anyway, back to the Global Creative Tutorial Bundle. Um, so you'll get these 12 different tutorials. So you can purchase them on my blog. Uh, it's, I believe, $22 uh, per month. So if you just want the April one, it's $22. But if you want to buy six months at a time, uh, you get a discount. So you on my drop down menu on my blog, um, it'll say whether you want the one month or the six month, and then I'll just know to send you every month for six months. But the best way to get the Global Creative Tutorial Bundle is by placing an order. So for those of you who placed orders of $100 or more in April, you would have received the 12 um, Hey Chick tutorials free. Okay, and my team stick stampers, the ones that uh, my kind of direct level uh, girls who purchased the starter kit from me, they also get the Global Creative Tutorial Bundle free just as a perk for being being my uh, team stick stamper. Okay, so that is one announcement for the end of the month. The other reminder is that uh, the new catalog goes live on May the 4th. If you haven't heard me say it before, you'll hear me say it now. So this is really the final last week to kind of nab those goodies that are leaving, um, retiring, we call it that they're going into retirement, uh, that they won't be in the next new catalog. So make sure you go to your website uh, go to my website and check out what's on the last chance list because after May the 3rd, they are gone. I mean, it's already while well supplies last for everything. Stamps, accessories, all those things that are not coming back. Um, things can disappear like one day it'll be there and then the next day it's gone. And I noticed when I did my video last week for Tuesday at 2, um, I think before I had done the video or maybe it was the day before I checked and the items I was using, like the stitched shapes, dies, they were there. But then after the video, um, or maybe the day after someone asked me that they couldn't find it. And I was like, Oh, I guess it's already sold out. So you really don't know when it's going to sell out. So don't wait. Uh, don't wait until May the 3rd. If there's things you want to get off the last chance list, just go ahead and nab them now. Okay, and then end of April means this is the last week that I'll be showcasing uh, this month's product of the month. Who remembers what we're showcasing this month or I tried to showcase all month? It was the... Da -da -da, the Stamparatus, yes. So um, all month I've been um, showing different ways to use the Stamparatus tool and hopefully you definitely have the idea that it's a great tool especially when you want to make multiples of anything. So today's um, Facebook Live is going to be the same. I'm going to be focusing on the Stamparatus, um, but next month I think will be a new month. So there'll be a new product of the month next month. So you'll have to keep tuning in to see what it is. Uh, so this is the last week that I'm going to focus on Stamparatus. I'm sure you'll see me use it other times because it is part of my kind of stamping tools that I have here. And I can't wait to show you what we're going to make. So why don't I flip the camera around and see if we can get ourselves organized. And, uh, oh, I should announce the winners from the previous week. So I'd like to do just a little draw for anybody who comments um, in the comments or shares. I mean, if you do share, also comment so that I know you shared because sometimes I can't see who shared the way Facebook has the different privacy 
uh, settings. So just let me know in the comments. And then each week I kind of look at all the comments um, and I enter you into a little drawing just for a little something small, just to say, hey, thanks for joining me. It's way more fun to chat with you than to talk to myself. Um, so I love to read your comments. So that's just a little incentive there to kind of comment and, and connect with me. So last week's winner was Kathy. And Kathy, um, I just put your little prize into, into your order bag there, Kathy C. And then uh, from the week before, because I think I forgot to announce it for the week before, it was Anne V. Um, I believe she lives in Markham. So Anne, let me know if your address is the same. I just didn't want to mail it out unless I knew your address was the same. So hopefully I tried to Facebook message you to let you know you won a prize. So I just want to send it to the right place. Okay, great. Let me flip the camera around and uh, be patient with me while I uh, do this because I don't have I don't have any fancy technology or anything. I uh, just try to be keep it simple around here but it does mean there's a little transition period. Okay, great. So just a reminder, if you ever wanna know what's going on, you can check out my link tree. So here's the address for my link tree, linktr.ee, linktree slash stampin' for fun. Stampin' for fun. Okay, so if you go to that website, it'll have all the different things that are going on. Upcoming classes, um, you know, go to my online store, join my Team Stick Stampers. Everything's all in one place. So um, I try to keep that updated. So it's just one link for you to remember to uh, figure out how to connect with me. Okay, so some of these announcements, if you're not sure where to find out about more details, just go to the link tree, okay? So the first one is just a reminder, I close all my class registrations on the first of the month. So the May the 1st is coming up really fast. So <clears throat> you're gonna need to register uh, before it kind of disappears on us. It just helps me to prepare for what's going on in May. So we've got a few exciting things going on in May. One is the Stampin' for Fun Socially Safe Stamp Camp. I know many of you have already registered, which is fantastic. Um, your registration fee will include a um, wonderful goodie bag. It will include um, 10 different make and takes. So everything will be pre-cut for you, will be put in envelopes for you, uh, and that will be included as well. You'll also get access to an exclusive Zoom experience where there will be stamping demonstrations. I will show tips and tricks for assembling the 10 different cards. And the focus is gonna be on the new catalog. Okay, so for those of you that love to see the new book and you don't want to, you know, you want, uh, it's very common that people will come to my stamp camp so that they can see a variety of things and then it'll help them decide what they really need to buy from the catalog. So it's it's like an investment to come to stamp camp and, and get some ideas. Okay, so registration deadline is the 1st of May um, and the Zoom experience will be on Sunday, May the 30th. I know, I think I was mixed up. Like some of my stuff says that the Zoom is happening at two o'clock. Some says it's happening at one o'clock. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make it at one o'clock because it is kind of a longer experience and I don't wanna interfere with any um, anybody's dinner time or anything. And, um, da -da -da. oh, Bonnie, do you need a catalog? Sure, I can, I can send you one. So just go to the link tree, request a catalog, <laughs> okay? Um, Let's see, there was a question and it flew by. Hang on, let me see whether I can see. Oh, okay, um, Betty's asking how many hours it is. So the Zoom experience is about, I would say about three hours long. And of course, some people don't like to be on Zoom that long. It is fine because I record everything. So you can stay for the whole time or you can, if it's a bad day for you, you can just watch the recording later. I always aim to send out the recording within a week of the class just to give me time to upload it and all of that jazz. Okay, so um, hope that answers your question, Betty. Now, for those of you that are in the GTA area, 
There is an optional um, experience that you can um, have as part of the Socially Safe Stamp Camp. That optional experience is that you can sign up to receive my traveling bins where I will put the stamps and ink that is needed to stamp the pieces of the 10 cards um, in a bin and you'll be assigned a particular time slot and a place where you pick up the bin basically from someone's porch and then when you're done stamping the pieces every all the instructions are in the bin so i'm not going to go into extreme detail about that because it'll all make sense when you get the bin you stamp your pieces and then you put the bin out on your porch and the next person will pick it up so if you want to actually use my new stamps and ink then um, and you're in the gta that is an option for you but of course we do have people long distance all across canada that still register because um, you'll still get the 10 pieces you'll still get the goodie bag you just uh, can't borrow my stamps and ink, so you just use your own. You use your own uh, stamp sets that you have and just substitute. But in the Zoom experience, you will see how I used particularly the new things because that's the showcase experience for Stamp Camp. Okay, so that I just want to give a bit of explanation because I've been getting a couple of emails just asking a little more detail. So I hope that answers it, but don't be shy to ask questions. I'll try to keep my eye on the comments. Okay. Um, other classes that are coming up. Oh yeah. I should have showed you a sample of my <clears throat> sweet and simple cards. Maybe I'll grab them after. I'll give you this to take a peek at. New catalog means new beautiful paper. So once again, I'm doing my um, paper share and all it is is that you are um, kind of paying one set price, $69, to receive two sheets of every design of um, the different designer series papers that are in the catalog. Okay, so the only exception is the ombre specialty paper pack uh, because there's, I think there's only six or four sheets in it. Or something so when I cut it up you'll just kind of get one of each each color okay so if you wanted to get a sampling of the papers without having to buy every single full pack this is a great option for you and uh, it's only $69 okay so if you want to register for that just go to my link tree um, and I think you could click, it would be in the upcoming class section. Okay, so I know it's not really a class, but you register in the same place as my classes. So the deadline to register, I believe, is May the 1st. Okay, just so that I can order it, get it cut, and ship it out to you. Okay, let me get my <clears throat> simple class cards. Okay, just a really quick sneak peek of a couple of the next class cards for sweet and simple <coughs> i always forget to get a cup of water when i start because once i get talking away my mouth gets dry okay um but i have my glasses and i can see which is a win <laughs> sometimes before i used to always forget my glasses and now i'm always forgetting my water okay so um we're doing masculine themed cards for may so that you're all prepared for father's day and for the men in your lives just like Mother's Day, I don't feel like Mother's Day has to be just for mothers. You can just really celebrate women. So the same thing with Father's Day, you can celebrate men. So the cards will be um, kind of masculine themed. And the special bonus is that we're going to have a special male guest stamper. Uh, that is the plan. And so that we're all socially safe with the guest stamper, the male guest stamper will be... Um, from my household. So yeah, these are a couple, you know, just a little sneak peek. So make sure you register for the upcoming um, masculine card class because we'll have a little special stamping demonstration and chatting and uh, you'll get the card packet for all, um, all the cards. And uh, I believe you'll also get a gift. I'm hoping that it will be a good gift if I can order it in time. I'm hoping um, it'll be the new Baker's Twine from the new catalog, uh, which is a great value. So you're for only $25, you're getting an embellishment, you're getting four cards, and you're getting the entertainment of having our special male guest stamper. So I can't wait for you to sign up. You can just sign up right here at the uh, link tree slash stampin' for fun. Okay, 
Anything else for the new catalog? I think I've told you this lots, but if you are a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, um, Okay, sorry, I just read Kathy's post. I'll get back to you, Kathy. Okay, uh, if you are a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, consider registering for the Demonstrator Stamp and Share. Again, the registration deadline is fast coming up. So it is also here on my link tree, but you can also see the link here as well to register for that. This is really geared for demonstrators. If you want tools, networking, um, tips for your Stampin' Up! business, but it's also for, you don't have to be running a big business to join this experience because you're going to get 12 make and takes as part of the day's experience. Okay, so that is that. Kathy was asking about the Hey Chick, the global tutorial bundles. Um, I think I already sent, sent you yours. I think you earned it free this month, Kathy. Um, but you do, they use both. So it could be just the regular Hey Chick or it could be the Hey Birthday Chick. So it's kind of all those Hey Chick things. Um, many of us kind of mixed and matched. We had a really good time with those tutorials. Okay. Things coming up in May. It's time to join the stamp, Team Stick Stampers. If you haven't joined already, I would love to have you join. Don't forget, I mean, there's many, many perks about being part of my team, but one of them is um, if you buy the starter kit from me, you will automatically qualify to get these creative bundles every month from me. And Stampin' Up! is offering a special. We love specials. So uh, for only $135, and if you're in Ontario and certain other provinces, there's actually no tax, no shipping. Um, you can choose $206 worth of Stampin' products. $206 worth, you only pay $135, no shipping. And then you get all the bonus perks. You get to um, enjoy the discount for yourself. So any future purchases you want to make, you automatically get 20% off. You get to be a part of my team. We have creative challenges. We have monthly stamping nights. Um, you can get make and takes for just $7. Uh, so there's a lot of perks to purchasing the starter kit from me. I would love to welcome you. Um, I, I can't see why not. I don't really see any downside to this. So I would love to have you join. Just remember, um, if you're thinking about it, it would be great if you wait until May the 4th so that you can take advantage of this special offer. Okay, but uh, you can join right here. And then um, also happening in May, they have announced a host promotion. So if you're not ready to join uh, the fun of the Team Stick Stampers yet, you can certainly host your own crafting social. I've been doing them throughout the pandemic pandemic and uh, it's been fine. I, I organize everything. I set up the Zoom link. You just uh, send the info to your friends. Um, they pay the fee and I send packets out to your friends. We have a great time. So you can actually get $30 free product extra in addition to the regular host rewards when you are hosting um, May the 4th to June the 14th. So we have time. We have time, friends. Let's book it and let's have fun. Okay, so there's no reason why you can't find something to enjoy. There's so many great things going on. So today we are going to focus on the Stamparatus again. We're going to use our handy dandy Stamparatus tool. If this is your first uh, time joining and you missed my videos from previous weeks, I was showing how to use this tool in our stamping. So, oh, I should have gotten all the different cards we've made in the previous weeks. Maybe I can grab that later. But this week I am going to show how to use the Stamparatus when you have a lot of die cut images that you want to mass produce. So I'm going to just go step by step uh, through. OK, first, I'm going to tell you what stamp set I'm using so that you can kind of see here. I am going to use the Hey Birthday Chick stamp set. And sometimes when I want to use a stamp set and I'm not sure what I want to do, I love looking at the images. They really give me a springboard on what I might want to create. Okay, so I just wanted to tell you that you never have to be afraid of stamping because there is so much inspiration out there and we encourage getting inspiration from other places. So you don't have to feel like 
you can't look at something else as a place to start, if that makes sense. You don't have to come up with, you don't have to imagine every card from scratch to get started. So, I mean, that's what I did. I kind of looked at these samples. I'm like, hey, I like this card. This is cute. Let me do it. And so you'll see that the card I'm going to make is similar to this. But of course, when you're stamping yourself, you're going to put your own spin on it, right? There's always something you might want to change or tweak, and it just becomes your your own card. It's, it's, it's your own creation. So let's get started. I am going to start with a piece of Bermuda Bay cardstock. I've been uh, gravitating towards these uh, cheerful tropical blue colors lately. So um, we're going to use our uh, Bermuda Bay as our card base. Oh, I might have one here. I might have been organized and already cut it. Yay. Yay for me. Okay, so that'll be our card base. And then I am going to use our paper trimmer. Our paper trimmer is great if you don't already have a, um, a good paper trimmer because our, tr our Stampin' Up! trimmer comes with a cutting blade and a scoring blade. So this was originally an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. I cut it in half at five and a half, and then I'm gonna score it in half at four and a quarter. Okay, so the light um, gray piece is for scoring and the dark gray is for cutting. Okay, so that will be our card base. And then I'm gonna put a layer of magenta madness on top. And I'm gonna do, uh, I think I'm gonna do about three and a half inches by three and a half inches. So three and a half by three and a half. So how I'm measuring it is I'm making sure that my paper is butt up against this ledge and then if I know I want a three and a half measurement, I put the edge of my paper at the three and a half inch mark. I close the um, kind of the handle here and then I push the blade across and that cuts the measurement that I need. So that's three and a half by three and a half. I know, I love Magenta Madness too. I might be wearing kind of a Magenta Madness sweater. It might be closer to Melon Mambo, but it's such a bright, cheerful color. I'm kind of going with that. And I think it just gives a nice contrast to the Bermuda Bay, right? Kind of tropical, fun, bright. I'm hoping this card will bring a smile to, to somebody's face. So next I'm gonna take our basic white paper and I'm gonna cut it at two and a half inches. Two and a half inches and five and a half inches, two and a half inches by five and a half inches. Okay, so it's going to go something like that. See how I used this design to help me as a springboard for where I was going to go? You can already see I'm changing it up. It's not going to look the same, but uh, just so you can, just so you can feel you don't have to come up with all the ideas yourself. You don't have to feel super creative. Use the resources out there to inspire you. Okay, so we've got that. Now let's uh, let's do some stamping. I'm going to, okay, let's move this. Now, uh, today's use of the Stamparatus, I've said it before, is one of the great things is about making multiples. So let's imagine I want him to make 20 of these cards. Maybe there's a birthday party coming up and I want to make invites. Maybe it's a wedding. Like there's so many reasons why you'd want to make multiples like wedding invitations, Christmas cards, wedding thank you cards. Um, you know, maybe you just want to have a stack of birthday cards on hand and, you know, okay, so we're thinking along that train of thought, like how can we make it easier to make multiples of the same card? And sometimes it can be tricky when we are doing die cutting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I'm just gonna do it as I would do it. If I needed to make multiples of that card, I'm gonna show you what I, what I do so that you can see step-by-step step how it's done, okay? So first of all, I'm gonna make a template for my Stamparatus. So I'm just gonna, maybe I'll cut it at five and a half here. I'm just basically taking a piece out here. Okay. And I am going to pop it in my Stamparatus 
And because it's got this ledge and guide, I'm going to choose to put it right in the corner so that I know that's where it belongs. If anything moves, I'll know exactly where to put it back, right in that corner. Okay, and I'm going to use this very strong magnet, <laughs> super strong magnet. Okay, now the Stamparatus actually comes with two magnets. They have their own storage compartment at the bottom. Um, but sometimes the magnet is so strong, I only need to use one. But there are times when you need to use two, so it's fantastic that they do include two. Okay, so where's my uh, Hey Chick stamp? I'm going to go with this, this guy here. So let me take that out. Okay, and then I'm going to just kind of aim him around here. I can pop this on. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink it up, okay, and stamp this fellow. I, I just want you to see where I'm going. As I'm doing it, you're probably wondering, what is she doing? Where is she going with this? But you just have to see it all happen, and hopefully it will make sense. Keeping in mind that my goal is to make multiples, okay? So I'm going to ink this up using the black mento ink. Okay. Just push that down. Okay, so we've got our beautiful chick there. Okay, and the Hey Birthday Chick has coordinating dies. So if you're interested in it, purchase it now while it's available at the bundle price. Okay, we love to get the discount, right? So you get 10% off when you get the stamp set and the dies together. During, I think it's that that deal is not available when the new catalog goes live. It is just for, for uh, the spring catalog. Okay, so let's move this over. Okay, let me put the lid on my ink so that I don't accidentally stick something in it. Okay, and I'm going to take the cut and emboss machine and I'm going to cut this guy out. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm creating a template. Okay, so I want to just line this baby up so that I'm cutting him out nicely. Hopefully I've got it even there. It's a little hard. I didn't want to stick my head right, right under the camera. So it's kind of hard to tell if I have it lined up correctly but hopefully I do. Oh, yes. Okay, Jen, I love your comment there. I always, for the most part, recommend you stamp and then cut. Stamp and then cut because it helps you aim the dies or if you're using a punch, it helps you aim the die and the punch so that it's lined up. So, 99% of the time, I always say stamp first, then cut. Stamp first, then stick. Okay, so those are kind of my general rules. But like with any rules, there are often exceptions. And this is one of the exceptions right here. I'm thinking to myself, huh, I want to make 20 of these um, chickens here. I want to make 20 of these, these little guys. I want to make 20 of these cards. And it, it is kind of a bit of a slow process to stamp. And then every single time you have to do what I just did, make sure you're lining the die up around the image properly. What if you don't have to line up the image? What if you just say, you know what? I know I'm making 20. Let's just roll out 20. I haven't stamped it yet. Let's roll it out. Let's roll it out. Okay. So it's not like, you know, no police are going to come after you if you do it the other way, but in general, okay, so because this way it speeds up because you don't have to keep lining it up every time. You're just rolling, rolling, rolling. So see, I don't even have, I can just put it back here and roll, roll, roll. Okay, so 
I'll just say I'm getting ready for our party. I want to make a bunch of these. Let's just cut these chickens out. I know I'm going to need a bunch. Okay, but I know they're not stamped yet, but that's okay. I just keep going. Okay, because I want to make multiples. Okay, so here we go. And <laughs> I don't know where I even learned this from, but it was actually quite helpful during stamp camp with my traveling bins because people might not have the dies. They might not have a big a, a cutting machine, cut and emboss machine, right? Here we go. I'm not even checking. I'm just making sure it's on the paper. I don't have to specifically line it up with a stamped image. I'm just cutting this baby out, okay? Sorry, I keep hitting the stand. I hope you guys are not getting dizzy. Okay, maybe I should invest in some high-tech equipment, but just knowing me, if I get high-tech equipment, it'll get like a virus or something, like something. <laughs> Very nervous. So I just keep it low, low-tech. Um, speaking of low-tech, this is the time when we're doing taxes and all that stuff, right? So I was trying to do some of that, and my husband, he has his fancy spreadsheet with the, the fancy Excel spreadsheet thing, and he puts in equations and all this, and I have like a piece of paper where I'm like writing numbers, and I, may, I add it up. And the funny thing is, I was like, oh, look, it reconciled perfectly to the penny. So don't tell me my way doesn't work. It's just just ancient, but hey. Okay, so here I go. I've got all these little guys rolled out, but they do need to be stamped eventually, right? So when, um, what can we do to stamp it? Here we go. We've got our template. I made the template earlier, right? I remembered it's supposed to be in the corner. So I can put it in the corner, put my magnet on. And then the ones that I already rolled out, I pop it in to the template and go ahead and stamp it, okay? And if I didn't mess up anything, it should land exactly where I want it to land. And again, I didn't have to like line anything up or worry about it, I just, die cut these pieces out of the white paper, not really checking, not really looking. And now I can mass produce this guy. Okay, mass production in process. Okay, so do you guys understand how that helps and why the tool is useful? See, and if you don't get it exactly, you can just fix it up there. Okay, so this is a way to do multiples quickly when the multiples involve dies, involve die cutting. Okay, so that is just a little trick and tip for you, those of you that do multiples, and everybody kind of does at some point in time. So I know I said this um, before with this tool. This tool might not be one that you use every day, but when you need to use it, you need to use it. Okay, so see that? Isn't it great? So satisfying. Look at all these chickens. Okay. Da -da -da. And we just pop it in. Okay. And so hopefully you are inspired to get your very own Stamparatus if you don't have one. And I can help you with that. To get a Stamparatus, you just head to my online store. Just You can go to Linktree slash Stampin' for Fun and click the button that says Browse and Shop. And you can look for your own Stamparatus. And make sure when you're checking out that my name is in the top right corner so that you can get a thank you card from me and you'll be one of my happy stamping peeps. Okay, and get all the perks of being part of my crowd. There we go, look at what we did. See how easy that was? Okay, so hopefully from start to finish now, you know how to make a lot of die cut images as well. Look at how fast and easy that was. Okay, so let me finish off the card. 
now that I've showed you how I would use the Stamparatus in this case. Let's finish off our card. I'm going to move this die so I don't accidentally lose it. Okay, move this guy over. Okay, so let's look at this image, this stamp set again. It's got this fun confetti. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp a bit of a background on this white piece using the coordinating Bermuda Bay cardstock uh, ink pad. So you see how the ink matches with the cardstock? I love it. That's why I'm sticking with Stampin' Up! because everything matches. And anybody can do it. You too can get coordinating ink to match with your cardstock. And it's so easy. It makes everything, it just makes everything look a little more finished. Okay, so I'm just kind of twisting and turning. Give a bit of a confetti background here. Okay. So make sure if there's anything you want to purchase, you can certainly purchase it from my online store. Okay, so we did that. I think we can go ahead and glue this down. Get my adhesive. Okay, so we'll put our Magenta Madness. Bright, cheerful color. I love pinks. That's why pink is in my logo. That's why I tend to wear a lot of pink clothes. I don't know, I just gravitate to kind of pinks and purples kind of color. So, because pink, I mean, there's so many pinks. There's like soft pink, bright pink. I like them all. I like them all. Okay, and this, in case you're wondering, those of you that are new, this is uh, the Seal Adhesive. It is like an adhesive tape runner. It took me a little while to get used to it, but now that I'm used to it, I can't live without it. It's so sticky. No muss, no fuss. There we go. Okay, and then we are going to put this guy on here, but I'm going to color him first. And you know that I love to color with my blends markers. Um, I don't know where I put my blends markers, but I'm going to make the chicken. There we go. Yeah, so I'm going to use cinnamon cider on the chicken. And so when you're using blends markers, they do recommend that the ink that you use is the uh, tuxedo um sorry, the Memento ink, which I have used. And I'm just using the brush side and going in a circular motion to just color my chicken. Some people like the bullet, bullet uh, point side rather than the brush tip side. I kind of use both. I feel like the brush tip helps me go a little faster. And I'm not gonna lie, I sometimes like to do things as fast as possible so I can get on to doing more things. But whenever I'm in sort of a little tighter spot, I can I can always switch to the... And you can see how cool it's designed. They have like a, um, a fat, fat line to tell you that's the brush tip and more of a narrow line to tell you that that is the um, kind of narrower tip. Okay, so I'm just going to color around there. Okay, and the blends are fast and easy to use. And they, when you purchase them, they're $12 for a set of two. And in the set of two, you'll get like a dark shade and a light shade of that color. So I'm using Cinnamon Cider. I'm currently using the light. And then I'm going to use the dark to kind of highlight in or highlight certain spots, okay? And they're called blends because you can kind of blend the color together. Okay, so I'm just gonna color in here. These are different from our Stampin' Write markers because these are alcohol-based. Um, and I do find that it just goes on a little smoother so I'm using the dark now, and I'm just going to do a little bit of shading. I'm not an artist by any means, but uh, it's funny. My friend Meg Levin was uh, sharing with our Team Stick stampers, and she was saying, she calls these things, let me show you these lines. I think I got it correct. See how on, on the image there's actually like little lines sometimes? Because that almost tells you. It should be a little darker here. So she calls them color here lines, <laughs> color here lines. So 
I just take my dark Stampin' Right blends and I just kind of highlight color here. Okay, I will. There we go. Okay, and I can't resist because we've got some magenta madness. I feel the need to have some magenta madness highlights. So what have I got here? I've got the light magenta madness. I'm going to color the balloon in magenta madness so that we can pick up some of that color coordination on the cardstock. Okay, going in a circular motion here. Okay, and then um, sometimes people ask me about what they see in the catalog here. Let me. There's a blends in the blends marker section or something. It says that there is a color lifter. And people ask me because they think that the color lifter, let me show you what it looks like. People think that the color lifter is to like lift up color, like almost like a, an eraser, an ink eraser. It is not an ink eraser. It, uh, it's actually better named like a color mover arounder. <laughs> color mover around her. So I want a little bit of highlight on this balloon. So I'm using the color lifter. And what it does, there's some sort of chemical reaction and it moves the color around. So it's all, it almost looks like there's, you know, like the light is shining there and it's making it a little lighter on that part of the balloon. Okay, and it's just by using the color lifter. That's what that's for. Okay. Um, Great. I think I see people still joining in. If you joined in late, there's no worries. I love to know that you're here. Make sure that you comment because anyone who comments gets entered into just a little door prize each week that I do. Um, it's just nice knowing that there's other friends joining us. I love to share stamping. So this is a fun way to share using Facebook Live and my little phone video here so that you can see how I'm coloring it. Okay, so we've colored our little chick. I think I'm going to pop them on the front of the card there. I'm going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals if I have any. Yes. And these are great. They just add a little bit of lift. Oh, Serena, I'm glad you like the color combo. It just makes me feel a little cheerful. I need a little bit of cheering up and I'm not going to lie I kind of have Maui on the brain because I'm supposed to be going to Maui in two weeks obviously I'm not going but I was supposed to be going on the Stampin' Up! incentive trip but I'm gonna stay safe and stay home but I keep thinking about tropical colors so that's why I think I chose this color combo and then uh, let's use a little sentiment here I'm just going to take the let's celebrate you and I'm going to stamp it on some scrap basic white here and we'll use our black ink again. Hopefully you see how this card is coming together. Okay, and then I'm going to use this uh, punch whose name I have forgotten. Somebody can tell me. Ah, great question, Jen. I see your question. Jen is asking whether the markers can be used to ink up the stamp. Let's talk about that. So the blends markers cannot be used on the stamp. So what Jen is asking, hopefully if I have your question correct. Actually, let me finish this card, Jen, and I'll come back to you, okay? So I'm going to just finish up the card. I'm going to put the sentiment at the bottom. Okay. I'm going to pop it up, of course, to give it that little lift. Okay. See, it doesn't have to be a birthday card. You know, if you're celebrating anything, you can get a balloon and just say, let's celebrate you. I feel the need to put something here. So I grabbed my uh, in-color enamel dots, which are retiring. These colors are not retiring, but this actual product is retiring. So I believe it's $11. I checked this morning. It's still available. So if you want to get them, just head to my online store. Go to uh, Linktree Stampin' for Fun and click the Browse and Shop button. It'll take you to my online store and you can... Uh, Add that. Okay, so I can't resist. I This is the power of Stampin' Up! See how everything coordinates? Magenta Madness Candy Dots right there. It just adds the final touch on each edge of the label. 
Okay, ta-da! That is our card for today. And hopefully you learned how to make multiples when you're, when you're doing die cutting. So if I wanted to make a bunch of these, it would be easy because now I have all these chickens already done. Okay, so in response to Jen's question here, let's give an example. She's asking about using markers on the stamps. Let me clean my stamp here. I'm just gonna do a quick clean with our chamois. Okay, so you may have heard of this technique where you use the markers to ink up the stamp. This is actually a perfect stamp to indicate why you would want to use markers. Oh, thanks, I'm glad you like the card. Um, why you would want to use markers. So here's an example. So for example, I want to do the Celebrate in Bermuda Bay. So see, I'm not using a blends marker. I'm using our Stampin' Write markers, which are water-based. Okay, and I'm using the brush side to ink up the Celebrate part. Okay, but maybe I want... Um, the rest of it to be black. Whoops. Okay, so I'm gonna use a black stamp and write marker and I'm gonna ink up the rest of it, the rest of the letters in black. So can you see, so you cannot use the blends markers to color on the stamp as I am doing here, okay? You can only use the water-based markers, please. <laughs> okay, okay. So then I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Take a scrap piece. So what I do is I do a little bit of huffing on it. So you can't see me, but I just kind of did a warm huff over it to re-moisten it. I'm gonna stamp and see how you get the two colors. So one stamp, multiple colors. So markers can be used that way if you want. Of course, you can also use the markers to color in things. So that's different. This is using the marker like an ink on your stamps. But the other way to use markers is to use them to color in something that you have already stamped. Okay, and in that case, you can use either. You can use the stamp and write markers or you can use the blends. But just keep in mind, because the blends are alcohol based, it does, uh, I think, give a smoother finish. So why don't we, since, you know, if you want to compare, even if we're going same color to same color, like this is cinnamon cider blend, I'll show you what it looks like when I color one of the chickens with the cinnamon cider um, stamp and write marker, if you can kind of see the difference. First of all, there's no dark and light. There's only kind of one, one color here. Okay, one shade, I guess. So I don't know if you can already see the difference. I'm not gonna color the whole chicken, but. Can you see how the water-based one, it's almost like it's just not as smooth. It's just not quite as smooth. Okay, so it's fine. You could totally do that. I just prefer, everybody has their preferences, right? So I kind of prefer the blends when I'm coloring in large surfaces. Okay, hope that answers your question, Jen. Gail is asking, should I have a catalog by now? Well, yours did, I did check, yours went out in batch number two. So Gail, I remember, because I think about you, I know how much you love to get the catalogs. And I was like, oh, am I going to my parents? And I did actually end up going to my parents on Sunday, but I had already put yours in the mail because I didn't know if I was going to my parents. So Gail lives near my parents. So I it went in in batch two. So uh, what day is today? Tuesday. It went in the mail last week. Maybe, yeah, it went last week sometime. So um, I'm not surprised you don't have it yet because uh, the mail is a bit slow, but hopefully you will get it soon. Okay. Um, da -da -da. That is our card for today. So I think I shared all the announcements. Um, hopefully that's our last week kind of focusing on the Stamparatas. Have I forgotten anything, friends? Have I forgotten to tell you guys anything? I drew the winners. 
Okay, so hopefully, oh, sorry for the bumping around. Okay, so that is our Tuesday at 2 this week. Hopefully you learned something new about the Stamparatus. Remember, you can purchase anything from my online store. Just head to um, uh, Linktree slash Stampin' for Fun um, and click the Browse and Shop button and it should take you right to my online store. You'll, you'll know it's me because there's a picture in my name. If there's no picture in my name, then you have to kind of search for me or I don't know technology is really weird so sometimes it'll like immediately show up like it should sometimes it doesn't quite but um, I want to make sure to give you credit for your order so I always try to send thank you cards and um, I just so appreciate having you guys as part of my stamping journey okay Ah, oh, you're welcome, Bev. Oh, good, Bev. I just emailed you this morning. Hopefully you got my email. Okay, great. Have a great afternoon, everybody. Let me know if you have any questions. You can connect with me anytime. I'm easy to find. Talk to you soon, and we'll see you next week. Next week will be just before the new catalog goes live. I'll have a new product of the month to showcase all week, uh, all month. Okay, bye for now.